<laughs> Multivisceral and intestinal transplants are still so rare. The doctors were saying there was a one in a million chance. I'm very fortunate that I got my one in a million. February of 2012, um, I underwent what was considered a, a routine gallbladder surgery, and I essentially woke up from that surgery unable to eat. I was feeding tube dependent for about six years before undergoing what at the time was considered like a radical surgery where they actually went in and removed my stomach and part of my small intestines and unfortunately that surgery failed and I went into intestinal failure as well. I had to move to something called TPN which is where you get fed directly to your venous system and I ran into complications almost immediately. And it was at that time that they said, you're either gonna need a transplant or your, your life expectancy is probably only a few years. My quality of life at, at time of transplant honestly was so bad. I, I was having conversations with my family about having my lines actually removed and going into hospice because I was ready to be done. You know, my angel donor, um, we think about them all the time. And, um, you know, my doctor said at the time of transplant, the organs per were a perfect match. My youngest was three or four at the time. She's never um, had a normal, quote, family meal with me. The first time we were able to do that was like so surreal. I told my husband actually this morning, when I'm actually like back to quote, normal, whatever that looks like, I hope you know we're gonna have so many animals and so many people around, you're gonna get sick of it. <laughs> So it's a very exciting to imagine a life where, um, you know, where I can go to the beach and I can swim with my kids or I can go on a date with my husband and eat a meal with him. Um, we haven't done that in over a decade.